Well, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I often say it is a choice to rejoice and I choose to rejoice. Listen, I am simply an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ, a good news carrier of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank you for joining me on the day. We are super excited about the assignment that the Lord has me on. I am going to give you a moment to get your Bibles, to get your notepads, to get your iPads, uh, so that you can jot down some notes of what the Lord is speaking to me. We're always excited to share with you what he is sharing with us. As always, I'm going to hang out right here, review a couple of my notes, and I'm coming right back to share with you what the Lord has share with me. God bless you. We'll be back in just a moment. As promised, we are right back. We want to go right back to Psalm chapter 85, and we're going to read in your hearing today, verses 8 and 9 out of the King James translation. And the Bible says, but I will hear what the Lord God, what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints, but let them not turn again to folly. Let me read that again. But I will hear what God the Lord will speak. For he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints, but let them not turn again to folly. Verse 9, surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in the land. Uh, so we, uh, we thank the Lord for the reading of the word on today. Verse 8, but I will hear what God is speaking, for he's speaking peace unto his people and to his saints, but let not them turn again to folly or to foolishness. So in this hour, God himself is speaking peace to the kingdom. He's speaking peace to his children. And we have to take refuge in that. We must take comfort in that, that whenever God says peace, Peace is what it is. As he says it, so it is. And so whenever the Lord is speaking peace, we need to begin to operate from that place of peace. And the Bible says, once you understand that you're in a place of peace, don't go back to foolishness. Don't go back to, to, to that folly. Uh, go back to an old place. I'm finding in the kingdom that we get in trouble with God because the moment he delivers us, we tend to have the mindset to go back to something that is broken, to go back to something that got us in trouble before, to go back to something that has never worked anyway. And so I want to encourage you when the Lord places you in a place of peace and at a place of peace, that is the place that you prosper in. That is the place that you abide in. That is the place that you dwell in. And, and we need to, as believers, take refuge in that place and watch God bring his glory in, up, through, and out of our lives. Verse 9 says, Surely his salvation is nigh unto them that fear him, that the glory may dwell in the land. God is releasing his glory in the land. And we need to begin to embrace that. And stay in that place of safety with the Lord. Oh, there's a safe place in the Lord. The safest place in the whole wide world. It is in the will of God. Well, you already know. I am Apostle Esther. Super excited about the assignment that the Lord has me on. I want you to, as always, have an amazing day. We will be... We will be back on tomorrow with more of the good news gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are here every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. I want to thank all of you that are subscribing, those of you that are sharing and liking the content. 
If you are a subscriber, you already know uh, the added benefit that you have is that each time I upload content, you get that notification that my content is viewable and it is shareable. Um, I want to take a moment to thank all of you that are sharing my videos. Um, they are available here on YouTube. They're available on Facebook. And they're also available on our Kings Court Men um, website. Um, so anytime you want to look at what we're doing, uh, just go right over there. All of my videos are uploaded on there. I want you to have an amazing day. We will be back with more uh, good news of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.